Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yes, of course, continuing on with the, you know, di re review marathon of classic live-action Disney films. Now we're reviewing, yes, that's right, we're now reviewing Old Yeller. Yes, and probably one of, I have to admit, one of, if, probably if not one of the best uh, films about a dog, you know, you know what I'm saying? And for Disney-wise, you know? Um, Old Yeller, because, like, um... You know, you know, I've not, I had never seen it before until a while ago. I had recent, I did watch it and such, along with a couple of other uh, classic live action Disney films that are coming up after this. You know, at least for one that I that I watched alongside after Old Yeller. So you know, which I'll mention when that review comes. <laughs> But Old Yeller, it's it is a great. Uh, it's number one of Di I think one of Di uh, number one of Disney's ge gems. You know what I'm saying? Um, it has a great story to it. And literally, this movie, because I'm looking at it on the tablet, because um, this movie literally has um, seven seven actors in this. That's it. Seven cast members in this. Um, with the characters, like okay, we have of course, you know. Uh, the main star, you know, the dog, Old Yeller, you know, best dog on dog in the West, you know, and the theme song that plays in the beginning, you know, the uh, the cast, you know, because we have, you know, Tommy Kirk, he plays Travis, and his younger brother, played by Kevin Cor Coron, I I don't know, well, Tom, uh, him and Tommy Kirk are big, like, big child stars from Disney, so, you know, um, especially for Kevin, like, he'd done a lot of Disney stuff, like, from Pollyanna to, uh, and also being the voice of Goliath the second, you know, um, I did a review on Goliath the second, go check it out, um, I will review Pollyanna very soon, don't worry, um, some of the others, like, the one and only, Fess Parker, he's the father, Jim, and Dorothy McGuire, she's Katie, the mother, and, and not only that, because not only do we have Davy Crockett in this, we have, uh, Jeff York, aka Mike Fink, King of the River, you know, uh, him and Davy Crockett, they're in this film, but although they don't share any scenes together, um, yeah, so he's Bud Searcy, if I'm saying that right, and Beverly Washburn, she's Lesbeth, uh, Lisbeth, I think that's how you say it, Les Lisbeth, yeah, uh, Bud's daughter, so you know, um, and we also have, and Chuck Connors, um, he, play he has a quick, uh, small appearance in this, uh, not a major role or anything, burn sanderson like he comes in and like because like uh reports or something out, out, out in town that a dog was causing trouble and such which being old yellers you know and that's the thing too because like in the film because uh for you know in a little for in a little while the film because like travis doesn't really seem eye to eye with the dog you know what i'm saying like he he first starts off hating old yeller <clears throat> excuse me so but after, but later on in the film, he starts to bond with the dog, you know what I'm saying? Grow an attachment to Old Yeller, and they go off on adventures and such, you know, that kind of stuff. Even, like, one sequence where, you know, because here's the thing, because Arliss, if, yeah, because that, that Kevin plays, Arliss, I think I'm saying the, the, the character's name right. Arliss, I have to admit, he's, he's kind he's, you know... He's kind of a little brat in this. Now, I don't mean, like, I'm just saying, like, the way he, like, okay, he's a kid, so, you know, if you get what I'm trying to say. Like, one scene I remember because, like, Arliss, he, like, tries to lure a, a little bear cub to come towards him, like, offering food. He grabs him by the paws or feet or whatever, the legs. The mama bear comes in. An old yeller comes in to save the day, fighting off the, the mama bear and such, you know? And there's one part where, like, um, Travis and old yeller, they have to deal with wild boars, you know? And there's one part where a wild boar attacks Travis and old yeller saves Travis, only to end up where old yeller gets injured, you know? Because both Travis and old yeller, they get injured, you know? Um, and um, Bud's daughter, Le... Le Lisbeth, Lesbeth, I, I don't know how you pronounce that name, I'm sorry, but, you know, by the way, because Beverly Washburn, she was in an episode of Star Trek, the original series, I can't remember the name of the, of the one, but it's where her character, along with Kirk and McCoy, they, they, they start to turn old and such, and later on in the episode, Romulans show up, just, you know, if you remember that episode, um, but anyway, so, I feel as though, because, Lisbeth, I think it's, I'm, I'll just go with Lisbeth. Lisbeth, like, I feel like, because, you know, with Lisbeth, she seems to have a, a crush on Travis. I, I think it could be pretty obvious. 
she even like brings in a, a little pu a puppy, you know, for Travis and such, you know, um, which, um, which I'll get to later on about that young, about that puppy. <laughs> um, yeah, and Jeff York, he's enjoyable in this. He's, it's Jeff York, and he's enjoyable as Mike Fink, you know, um, as, you know, because me and Lil Blue reviewing, uh, the River Pirates. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and also, I'm trying to remember, because, like, oh, yes, because everybody knows this, it, uh, Old Yeller, like, it's probably, if not one of the saddest moments of Disney, because, Basically, old old Yeller to, uh, protects them, you know, from a coyote or wolf. I think it's a coyote. Actually, the coyote is a German Shepherd. But when I was watching that, because I read that it was it was actually a dog, not a coyote or anything like that, and it was a German Shepherd. But when I'm looking at that dog, I think it's a husky. I don't know if it's a husky or a German Shepherd. But just when I was watching it, and when I was when I was keeping my eyes on that coyote, you know, well, the dog playing the part of the coyote, so you know. And, of course, the, uh, Old Yeller gets rabies from the coyote. You know, gets the coyote bites Old Yeller. And Old Yeller seems okay at first, but a couple of days pass by, and Old Yeller just starts losing it. You know what I'm saying? The rabies get to him, becomes rabid, a rabid dog, you know? Even one part, which is, yeah, it's kind of dumb what he does. Arliss, he tries to free Old Yeller, you know? And, of course, we all know Travis puts Old Yeller down, you know? Yes, I have to admit, it is a sad moment, uh, if not one of the sad moments from Disney. Well, right next to, say, Bambi's mom and the death of Mufasa, don't you think? Um, and I almost forgot to mention, because Fess Parker, because he's in the beginning and at the end of this, because uh, he plays the father, as I said. And how do you pronounce the family's last name? Codus? Is that how you say it? Codus? Well, okay, so Fess Parker's character, Jim, because he's the father, he goes off to Kansas for, I forget what it is, but when he comes back, he comes back literally right after Old Yeller's dead, you know, and, you know, Jim is told about Old Yeller and such, and then there's a really touching scene, you know, uh, father and son talk, you know, and just, yeah, pretty good, and hey, Fess Parker nails at it, you know, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, but for the puppy, because Lisbeth, I think I'm saying it right, yeah, Elizabeth, or that's how it's spelled, L-I-S-B-E-T-H, Lisbeth, so I guess I'll go with Lisbeth, you know, uh, like, the puppy that she brought, brought to Travis, you know, like, um, it becomes young, the puppy becomes Young Yeller, so, and even the, at the end of it, because the song's playing, you know, Young Yeller, da 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 here, Yeller, so, you know, um, but yeah, so, man, old Yeller, I have to say, as I said, it's probably, if not one of Disney's, uh, g uh, number one of their gems, you know, of, of their classic live-action films, right next to 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Mary Poppins, Davy Crockett, you name it, so, you know, and The Parent Trap as well, yeah, uh, and Pollyanna also, there's so many of, that, that are, that I think, you know, are their gems, you know what I'm saying, of their classic live-action films, I almost forgot to mention, Lo Love Bug too. <laughs> ah, but anyway, so, Old Yeller, I give it 10 out of 10 stars, because it's it's a great film, and it's probably, if I think, could, if not, one of probably the best movies about a dog, you know, and for Disney, for Disney's, for Disney-wise, so, you know. Um, well, Disney, they, their classic film, their classic live-action films, they nailed of when, some of their films with centering around animals, you know, from Old Yeller, The Ugly Dutch Hound, The Shaggy Dog, That Darn Cat, definitely. Cat, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, and you guys let me know what you think of Old Yeller. If you enjoy it, just leave comments down below. So again, 10 out of 10 for Old Yeller. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Old Yeller. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And of course, continuing on with the classic live action Disney, you know, review marathon. And I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. And tune in next time for a shaggy dog. Yeah, so that's, the, that's our next one. So take care and peace out.